Back and congratulations. Uh, how were the last 48 hours or so for you and family? Yeah, it's been pretty hectic, uh, but it's uh, been obviously a beautiful uh, time, you know, for our family and feel very blessed. Spent all the time, uh, you know, with the family the last couple of days and then uh, was able to take a flight here and spend today with my Heat family. Uh, you know, it's the best of, of all worlds, but uh, appreciate everything and, and uh, both mom and uh, mommy and uh, daughter are doing great. As you get into these first couple of practices, uh, what are your thoughts on what you've seen so far? It's very competitive, as, as you can imagine. You know, we have uh, a lot of guys that have really prepared this offseason and have come into this camp with the right frame of mind, in shape, uh, and ready to compete. Uh, you know, we have that saying all the time, iron shut iron, and, and we're already seeing that. Uh, and it felt like a, a full offseason. Even us going to the Eastern Conference Finals, uh, based on what our last two summers were like, but it felt like we had enough time to, to get away, decompress, uh, kind of recalibrate uh, everything that we experienced last summer. But then, uh, you know, a couple extra, extra weeks, actually six extra weeks uh, to really start preparing for this season. I think everybody took advantage of that. Can you talk to us about what it means to be in the Bahamas in light of what's up happening in Florida now? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad you bring that up. Uh, you know, we're able to be here, but in a safe environment, doing what we love to do. Uh, but really our, our hearts uh, and our thoughts are going out to everybody in South Florida, Central Florida, Tampa area. Uh, who are bracing right now. And, and we're very familiar with the hurricane season. You know, for the last week, uh, we've been keeping an eye on it. Uh, we didn't know what, whether we'd be able to be down here. Uh, we're very grateful for that, but uh, there's going to be a lot of other people that uh, are going to feel it. Um, and we're thinking about that. Eric, you've been, on, you've been on both sides of this with teams where you brought a lot of players back some years, and yeah. then other years where you had a totally different roster you had to sort of reconstruct it. What are the challenges of the roster that is mostly intact from last season? Yeah, I think one of the most important things that we all have to think about is is to start with a blank sheet of paper and be open you know, to how guys could be different, how rhythm could be different uh, based on different combinations. Uh, I don't want to assume anything. The, the uh, connection piece uh, and guys familiar and there's a continuity already in place, that certainly helps when you're in practice. Uh, we're not stopping it uh, quite as frequently to, to teach and go over system. Uh, but uh, each year is different. Last year was last year. Um, and even though we're bringing the majority of the guys back, uh, I do want to be open-minded to how it can be different and hopefully better. So when you look at a team that's coming back with a lot of similar faces, there are places of competition and places. Yeah. What's yeah. that going to be like when you have spots that are available, especially in the starting lineup? Yeah, it's interesting. It makes it fun. Uh, it, it takes you back to, you know, when we were all were, you know, fighting for positions. Um, ultimately, all of this is bigger than each one of us. And... What we're trying to do is going to require uh, great uh, leadership and sacrifice. You know, and we have the kind of guys that uh, understand that. Uh, and there will be some, you know, moments during the season where sacrifice is not always the easiest thing. It's, it's a great thing to say, you know, right now. And sacrifice is always uh, the easiest when you're not the one who has to sacrifice. It's easier when somebody else is doing it. But uh, really, magic happens when. Everybody can get to a place where you're vulnerable and giving up something for the betterment of the team. Uh, we have a lot of firepower. We have a lot of talent. We have a lot of defensive versatility. There's a lot of really uh, encouraging things about our roster makeup um, and our depth. And we fully intend on using all of that. How that's going to play out right now, you know, I don't know, but uh, I do like the possibility. Speaking of that, uh, Jimmy was kind enough to tell us he's not a power forward and you can remove his uh, nomination from that yeah. position. Yeah. What were your thoughts when you heard Jimmy? I don't think it would work for me just to say, yeah, we're doing a position list. Jimmy's too smart. He'll, he'll figure that out. You know, my, uh, my thing uh, with that is uh, I would love to be able to at some point uh, in Jimmy's career to start him at all kind of positions. So I've already started him at point guard. I've started him at his natural position at the three. I've started him at the two. I've definitely played him at the four, and he'll play some four this year. Not likely starting him uh, there. But man, that would be cool to start him at the four at some point, uh, whether it's this year or in the future, and then for sure start him at the five. That would be a, a great legacy.
there's not many players that can do it uh, that have, first of all, the physical ability, but then the, the mind to do it. You could make a case that Jimmy would be one of the best at each one of those positions uh, if he started. Uh, I think that'd be a cool thing. Um, so I'll, I'll have to see if uh, you guys can sell him on that at some point. Um, and you know, but the versatility is, is definitely something that uh, we plan on, on taking advantage of. Uh, Jimmy is a, a brilliant competitor and basketball player. Um, he'll make it work, uh, you know, no matter what uh, position we have him at. But playing him to his strengths uh, is important to him and to me and to the team. And then when Kyle spoke to us, uh, we mentioned past comments about conditioning as you get older, having to be in even better condition, and his answer basically was, whatever, because if I got this taken care of. Your thoughts on where Kyle stands and how much of an issue is it with you for an older player, we throw with Tim Hardaway to a degree also, having to maybe go the extra yard? Yeah, I, 